Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Miranda. If you are new here, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me along on this cash stuffing journey. Okay, so today we are doing my budget for June. I know it's a little bit early, but I have that trip at the very end of May and I have some other videos I wanna put up, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one done. All right, so we're gonna start with debt. So my mortgage is 789 and then my Jeep payment is 540 and then personal loan is 500. Okay, and so we're gonna add all of that up and that is $1,829. Okay, so then what I do is I go over here and I do the things that I consider bills that I budget the same amount every month. There's also a few things down in the high priority and low priority that I take out a certain amount every month no matter what. So for gas, um, this time I'm gonna do 125. For electric, we're gonna do 150. For water, we're doing the 80. For streaming, we're doing eight. Monthly subs is 50. I'm going through this kind of quick because this is pretty much the same in every video. So I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch this. Yearly subs is doing 30. Insurance is 102. My mom for my portion of the phone bill is getting 75. And then internet is 86. Now, like I've said before, some of these like gas and electric, I don't necessarily use that much every month, but it's there if I need it. Or sometimes I pull it out and if I overspend on something, I have that that I can put towards my credit card payment or whatever the case may be. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all of this up and see how much that is. So how was y'all's week? Mine was a little crazy. So on Monday, I had come back in from recess. I'm a teacher, for those of you that are new here. And we came in from recess and there were bees flying around my room. Okay, so that's $706. And so we had to go into another teacher's classroom. And come to find out, the queen bee had somehow gotten into my room and that's why there were bees flying around. So they were able to get them out pretty quickly. Everything was fine, but it was a very crazy start to my week last week. All right, so food, we're getting $300. I upped it again this month. Hopefully I won't need it because I'm going on that trip at the end or actually at the beginning of June, that first week. So hopefully I won't use all that, but I'm having to change things up a little bit. Okay, and then pets is getting 250. And then lawn care is getting 68. So those three things are the things that I have to budget a specific amount every month. The rest of it that's blank are things that I guess you would call sinking funds. So I'm adding to it all the time and then if I need it, I can pull it out. So we're gonna add up all the totals including these three and see how much we have left over. Okay, so that was $3,153. So I like to just write it kind of down here at the bottom, just so, just small so I can kind of see. And then I take that away from my total, which was 3,321. And we have 168 left over. Okay, so we're gonna see what we can put, what money we can put into our sinking funds here. So I'm not gonna add to emergency this time. Travel, I am gonna add 20. I should have plenty of spending money for my trip, but just in case we have that little bit of tiny extra. Gifts is getting 13. Holidays is getting 20, and that's for Christmas gifts or any kind of decor for any of the holidays. Home maintenance is getting 40. Car maintenance is getting 20. I'm hoping to save up some money here soon that I can get some new flooring put in my house. But it's gonna take a while, I think, to save up that kind of money. And then household is getting 20. Healthcare, I'm doing 25 this time. I have my 
I have my eye appointment coming up in, I think, the beginning of August. So I want to make sure I have plenty of money for to cover my copay and my um, contacts. Okay, and then self-care is getting 10 and then we're not doing anything in fun or school this time. And so then what I do is I add up those things that I just put on there for the sinking funds and just make sure that it equals the 168 and it does. So all of this should equal the amount at the top here and it does. So that's how I do my budget. Most of my things up here stay the same. So at the very beginning when I first started my budget, I did a calendar to kind of see what I had that was coming out and like what dates and all of that good stuff. And so that's how I kind of figured out how much I wanted to put towards the bills and things and then food and pets and all of that. If you want me to kind of show you how I do that with the calendar, let me know. Jordan Budgets on YouTube, she's also done a video on how she does that with the calendar. So she's a really good person to go check out. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you have questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below. Um, I know I had some of you ask about this template. I have this up on my Etsy store that is linked down in the description below. It has them already pre-filled and then there's also a copy that comes with that that's a blank for you to write in your own but yeah that is it for this video um if you like this video go ahead and leave it a like and drop a comment down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button i also have my social medias linked down below i have instagram and tiktok i have not been very good about posting on there yet but feel free to follow me on there if you would like to and i will see you in the next video bye